Easy Blitz with Dual Edge Pressure, coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So, guys, I want to talk about um, a, uh, a defensive uh, defense that um, I haven't used in a while, but basically is a defense that uh, is very effective and I went into the lab to go ahead and see if I can if I can use it again here in Madden 19 and I've been I was able to go ahead and find a, a, a fast quick blitz setup where I can get dual edge pressure edge pressure off to right and off to the left with the setup now it is going to be out of the dollar or the big dime defenses and, and the defense that I'm going to use as my base defense is going to be the Oki Roll 2 the Oki Roll 2 it's misspelled here at Madden Focus but uh, you can see the actual play art it looks like this how I like to run this you can basically get this in pretty much every defensive book out there Browns, Steelers, Lions, Packers, Colts, uh, Jaguars, Titans, Buccaneers, Saints it's pretty much in every book uh, in the game but how I like to run this play is actually flipped uh, and it's a very easy and fast setup so let's go ahead and jump into uh, this breakdown all right so the blitz is going to be the Oki roll two and what I want to do is I'm going to go and flip the play so the pressure comes off the left hand side uh, but also be coming off to the right hand side basically how I set this up I'm going to run this against a very common formation which is going to be that gun trips tight end flex and uh, basically what's going to happen with this defense is you're going to see the guys actually roll down. Your safeties uh, will actually slide over and you get a too high shell uh, with soft squats underneath. Now this is very easy to set up. You're basically going to make just three global adjustments. First and foremost, we're going to go ahead and take our defensive line and actually go ahead and slant them inside. Or we can slant them outside, either one of the two. Uh, both of them actually work fairly effectively. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit our right bumper and we're going to blitz all linebackers. So I'm sending seven. No, I'm not sending seven. I'm actually going to send six. But what's cool about this is that you get dual edge pressure. And if he blocks the running back, you're still going to get pressure off the edge. Now, the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a hard flat with this slot defender right here. Uh, I'm going to slide him over. And I'm just going to go and hover right over the center position. So I might actually get right up on the butt of, of the, the defensive tackle and actually go ahead and try to get the pressure. So you can see right here, we get dual edge pressure with this particular blitz when the running back comes out. And if he does, if he blocks the running back, that running back actually is either going to is going to come across the formation and go to uh, this edge blitz here over here, or he's going to actually go ahead and take on this blitz right here. Now I actually went ahead and used this correctly because take a look, the center actually is is preoccupied by this tackle. This guard thinks I'm coming in, so he's actually going to be preoccupied by himself, and that's going to give me a two on one over here, and I got a two on one on this side too, and that brings I'm bringing fast edge pressure coming in with this fast very easy easy to set up blitz so once again we're just gonna go ahead and set this thing up and you can see these guys are actually coming over and if you got a guy who's coming up the line you can set the splits up really quick uh, you could pass commit to and you can see the actually pressure just comes in blazing quick and if he doesn't get rid of the ball quick enough he's gonna have a hard time with it so look how fast I'm, I'm setting up this blitz as my guys are coming down I'm just sliding this guy over and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to preoccupy that that center uh, and then uh, basically go ahead and, and, and do that so right there uh, it was a screenplay but you can see how fast that pressure comes in so it's just very very easy pressure uh, to set up and we do need to use your mid middle of the field but you can see the pressure just comes streaming in. So this is going to be the base play that we're going to run with. There's actually another way we can set the blitz up that's actually uh, is pretty consistent to set up as far as the pressure is concerned. Uh, but what's cool about this is that you can run all different types of covered shells with this base blitz. So now you have pressure where you can get pressure off the edges anytime that you want with the setup. And now you can start playing mind games because now you're going to have all different types of coverages that you can throw against your opponent. So guys, if you like these type of tips, make sure you hit the like button. And once again, uh, to my subscribers, uh, thank you for your support. And my patrons, thank you for your support. And this is part one of a three-part series. So if you want to know the other breakdown and also know how I'm going to run coverages with this particular blitz claim, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll be breaking that. I'll be showing that over the next week or so. Thanks a lot. And until next time.